Tony D and Little Joan in the background, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Hundreds of Beavers, uh, a slapstick comedy film that was touted by um, Bounding in the Comics. And so I checked out the trailer, and it looks really cool. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 13, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. This looks like the kind of movie I can actually promote <laughs> and say, go see it, uh, because all the right people seem to have liked it. Film Threat, Screen Anarchy. I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, critical drinker sees this and gives it a glowing review. Um, it looks fun. It looks different. It's shot in an old-timey way, um, kind of kind of like this. It's kind of like a silent movie with, like, special effects. I don't think there's any dialogue in it, but, I like, you hear the characters going, whoa, ooh, stuff like that, and making noise, but they don't. So there's sound in it, but it's not, you know, regular dialogue sound. It's all studio stuff. And then there's a lot of like cgi but it's black and white the whole thing's in black and white and <laughs> this is a bizarre scene where he's on trial with the beavers um directed by mike cheslick so it's definitely got it's like a very specific old-timey look starring rylan brixen and cole twos uh do we have a date on this no so i'm not sure if it's in theaters or not but it's being touted by a lot of different people. It's won a bunch of awards. I mean, just look at this look. It's got a crazy, very slick look to it. And these are supposedly actual beavers. Like, they're the beavers in the film. So they're walking around. The bunnies walk around, too. You know, they're just guys in suits. And it's basically a war on beavers. <laughs> this scene, I mean, it's just funny. He's running across the ice and there are literally hundreds of beavers chasing him. So, um, here they are, like, taking down the trees. I think it starts, it's hard to say, I think it starts with this guy um, noticing suddenly the trees are all gone. Here he almost impales himself on a stump. And then he falls down a rabbit hole. And the rabbits are looking at him. Um, but then he decides he's going to fight the beavers for taking down the forest. And so he starts a fight with them. Here they are just... <laughs> you can see the beavers have <laughs> survey equipment. Like they're building a dam, I guess. And he's mad that they're taking the trees. So I... Uh, steroidally swollen with gags and smarts. A guy man. I don't know him. But it's very slapsticky. But it does look funny. It does look funny that you know, it works because there's lots of these beavers and they all have the same exact look. So you can see it won all these awards. It looks fun. Uh, the plot. Hmm. That's a good question. I think the plot is this: the the main character starts the war with the beavers because he wants the wants the trees. For some reason, maybe he's a lumberjack. I don't know. And uh, he kind of loses, but then he recovers, goes back to civilization. Here's uh, here's his love interest, I think. Here, here she is, <laughs> gutting a looks like a raccoon. And uh, along the way, he tries to, I don't know, build up an army to go after the beavers and doesn't work he ends up infiltrating the beavers on his own and uh i guess they have their own like bar <laughs> and place to hang out and he infiltrates but eventually he's found out and then hundreds of them chase him um and then he's tried in beaver court somehow <laughs> here's his attorney <laughs> i mean it looks ridiculously fun i don't know uh, a lot of people are saying it's fun, and it looks fun as hell. Watch the trailer yourself if you don't believe me. There's a lot of crazy things that happen in it. 
not sure the time period. I think it's supposed to take place in the past, like in the old Yukon days or something. But um, it's worth it for this shot alone. I mean, that's fun. That's fun. Hundreds of beavers. A slapstick comedy film. It's very slapstick. It reminds me of like Buster Keaton, Three Stooges kind of stuff. Just mindless fun. But, but it's actually very hard to do these movies. I mean, you really got to think about your gags. Um, oh, okay. We got to write up here. New theatrical trailer release. So I guess this is hitting theaters. Hundreds of Beavers. Brace yourself for a laugh-packed journey with Hundreds of Beavers, the standout comedy hit of 2023. Oh, okay. So they're, it's sort of a re-release. The wildly entertaining slapstick epic is set to embark on a Great Lakes Roadshow, bringing its unique brand of humor and surreal antics to cities around the Great Lakes. Roadshow debut. Join the excellent... Join the excitement in Minnesota, January 26th. Oh, so this was recent. At the Showplace Icon Theater. The tour will wrap up in Toronto, February 10th at the Fox. U.S. screenings. The adventure continues with screenings across the U.S., including stops in New York, Los Angeles, Atlanta, Charlotte, and more. Grab your tickets. View the full schedule uh, at hundredsofbeavers.com. Starring Ryan Bricks and Cole and Cole Twos. Or is that four names or one? Ryan Bricks and Cole Twos? Uh, reuniting the creative minds behind Lake Michigan Monster, this inventive epic stars Ryan Brixen, Cole Twos, I think it's one guy, as the daring hero in his extraordinary adventure. Critically acclaimed, having premiered at Fantastic Fest in 2022, Hundreds of Beaver boasts a 100% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. This unexpected gem has captivated audience at festivals around the world. It's 108 minutes. Nice and tight. Director Mike Chislek. Writers Mike Chislek. Ryan Brixen Cole Twos. Four names this guy has. Synopsis. Here it is. In this silent supernatural epic, a drunken Applejack salesman plunges into the frigid wilderness. Can he transform from zero to hero, become North America's most formidable fur trapper, and conquer the beaver challenge? I want to see it. So, I, is Philadelphia on that list? I'm going to guess no. Let's see. Let's go to hundredsofbeavers.com. And see if there's still a chance. Oh, okay. Here we go. Well, the lose in Rehoboth Beach. Uh, I could almost go there. But that was on the 9th. So I have to be further down. Oh, here you go. New York premiere. I'm not going to New York. Hmm. Los Angeles. Yeah, I'll probably have to wait for streaming. Yeah, it looks that way. It looks cool as hell. It looks cool. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't put this on some kind of streaming platform. I bet it'll be on Amazon. That'll, that'll be, it's always on Amazon, right? Yeah. So, uh, looks cool as hell, guys. Uh, I like it. So, hundreds of beavers. Check it out. And that's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, Bitchute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say, take it. We'll see you tomorrow. At the, uh, what is it? Uh, United Methodist Communities at the Shore in Ocean City at 2 p.m. for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. It's residents and family. Uh, after that, I'll be at NerdFest, however, in Swedesboro, New Jersey on Sunday for 10 to 4 uh, for the usual hijinks there. Hope to see you there. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>